Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we take a look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in beautiful Florida. Everyone knows Florida is the most normal of states, and uh, as such, we had to do some uh, some interesting compromises here. So apparently in Florida, it is a thing to sell compounds of multiple mansions on a single waterfront property. I assume this is because all of those waterfront properties are about to become water properties in the very near future, and so people are trying to sell, sell, sell to the idiots uh, and unload those properties as fast as possible. So I've, I've already explained, I don't like the ocean. I think there's weird stuff in there. I don't want to be near it. Uh, some weirdos do want to be near it, but I don't think anyone wants to be in the ocean for their property. So, uh, the first most expensive listing was four houses, and there really weren't enough pictures to give us a look at all four houses. This one's the next down. It's 150 million. It's a little bit of a compromise, uh, but it's it's only two properties, and we've got 75 pictures, which should give us a good look at both. Uh, we've got 12 beds, 21 baths. That's split between the two houses, I uh, assume. Uh, so let's let's take a look. We got kind of different styles for both houses, which is kind of fun. I've been trying to like imagine the scenario in which you need to buy two houses right next to each other. And, and I imagine it's when you want a vacation with your family, but you want to keep them kind of at arm's length, uh, which you know what? Some families are like that. Some families are like that. So this one's kind of got that Tuscan Italian villa orange roof and the, you know, turret kind of deal going on. This one looks a little more, you got these steps here that's a little more like adobe kind of southwest style. It's, it's an interesting mix. No one has ever accused Florida of having too much taste. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for these. We got some beautiful monoculture lawn. Uh, it, for once, you don't have to worry about a waste of water on these lawns. Um, if anything, the salt water, what, what are they going to do if there's salt water on the lawn? I, I, if I were these landowners, I would replace this with kelp, personally. Some sort of seagrass that can handle the salt water. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> that is going to be here any day now. Let's, all right, we got some palm trees, some beautiful sunsets. I mean, that's that's why you'd get a house on the coast, I guess. Uh, this is the Italian villa, kind of, or maybe, maybe it's like a Spanish mission. I think I'm, I think I'm mixing my styles, like a, a Spanish mission type looking house, which, you know, that makes sense for Florida. Those were the original colonizers there. Uh, we got a big pool that looks like, I can't tell, that's a fountain. That's not a hot tub. I'm, I'm a fan of a hot tub, and I would be disappointed if I went for a swim and they had this big-ass fountain and no hot tub. Um, all right, here's more outdoor shots, more outdoor shots. We got lots of covered seating. Okay, I believe we are now inside of the Spanish Mission House. We've got... This, this is a grand foyer in need of the foyer table. That's missing. And instead, they've got these wall tables with these mysterious, gigantic pears on them. Uh, I, I don't know what the giant pears are about. But, you know, it's... The, the fo I make fun of the foyer table, but literally the star here is meant to be underneath a foyer table. And you've got a chandelier. This is like a sandwich with no filling. That's what that is. All right, we got this back, I think this is the back hallway that goes through in the sitting areas over here. This leads through the house. We got some spirally topiaries indoors. Okay. Very, lots of marble. Um, a lot of white. Let's, all right, I, you know what, there, there were some wild colors in Washington, D.C., so I'm gonna... I'm going to hold my breath before I make fun of the all-white decor. This, this tile pattern, it's, it's kind of unique. You know, it's not something you see very often. I don't know that it's something I'd want to live with every day. Um, but 
you know, if you're rich, you don't live here every day. This is, uh, this is the Florida house, and you've got other houses in other places uh, because you have too much money and need to be eaten. Okay, we've talked about rich people don't know how to buy just one chair. Of a, they have to buy two, so we've got symmetrical. Everything has to be symmetrical. I'm, I don't know that I like these weird columns here. I don't like the brown of the columns. It's something about the, the color scheme in here, the, the red and white. It's, it's a little, look up the children's hospital meme and let me know if that's the vibe you get here. That's another look at that room. I do see some color through there. So maybe more muted colors here are, are a good thing. Those, okay, those windows up here, these little accent windows are kind of cool. I'm, I'm curious to see, oh, these, okay. In any other location, these colors would be kind of garish and atrocious, but I feel like in Florida specifically, they're okay. Like those, those are Floridian colors, especially with these, like the beachy orange and yellow pastels and, and the sea turquoise, like this this is like the one place on earth where this color scheme is fully okay. I, I don't know that I like the gold with it. I think that pushes it a little to bit toward like Great Aunt May's timeshare um, kind of vibe, you know? I, I don't know. That might be an overly specific reference, but too many chairs at this table. You know, I, I get that you want to show how many people can seat here, and you've got extra. You've got extra backup chairs in all the corners. Um, you know what? If I were a guest at this dinner party and you shoved me this close elbow to elbow with other guests and we're, you know, knocking into each other, I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have a nice evening. All right, here's another angle. We got some faces. Um, that rug is, again, I feel like it would be ugly anywhere else, but in here, they're just like, this is my culture. I'm a Florida person. And this is like a little sitting room. Kind of, this, this circle of chairs here is interesting to me. Um, you know, if it was just like, if it was a little tighter, it would seem more natural as a sitting area. Uh, we do have your your classic issue of too much floor space, not enough shit to put in it. One of the ways they've compensated is just by opening up the sitting area way too much. So now it looks like a knitting circle. Um, and then the other way is that they've, you know, put this dining area in here. So we've got two different functions going on in the room. Could be worse. Could be worse. They could have put two different living rooms in the same living room. Um... I'm kind of digging the color schemes in here, but again, I feel like, like this is a distinctly Florida, like the peach and green. I don't know. I don't, maybe, maybe I'm just projecting the Floridianness onto it because we are in Florida. The fact that they matched it to this pumpkin, I feel like they brought this pumpkin to the paint store and they were like, this is what we want. We've, oh, this is the other angle. That's that little table. We got a little sink thing here, I guess. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, I guess that's like the serving area for this table. Um, kind of cool woodwork. I like that, okay, so we've seen like woodwork designs, especially in ceilings in other houses where they paint the entire thing a single color and you can't actually tell the woodwork. I, I mean, I think the the best thing to do is to just let the wood be, you know, plain and, 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 and so you could actually see the quality of the wood. This is a nice second where you actually have some color detail and you've painted it so that you can see what's going on in here. Uh, the floors, floors are beautiful. All right. You know what? Florida, 
I, I may have come in with lower expectations because it's Florida. Again, we've got an awkward wide, like this, uh, it's, it's, is it book club? Is it the, is it the quilting bee that's meeting here? Um, you know, there's, there's some sort of, I get like that this, I get nefarious vibes from this, but in like a, you know, the quilting bee that doubles as how do we murder our husband's club. I don't know. Um, interesting little piece of furniture over here. I'd be interested to get a better look at that. Let's, uh, okay. Uh, the, here we've, we've fallen in the, the classic trap. The, the bedroom is just, it's simply too big. So you had to put a mini living room inside of the bedroom, which you shouldn't be doing stuff other than sleep and, you know, bed stuff in bed, um, in the bedroom. Bad sleep hygiene. You've got a TV here. That's bad sleep hygiene. And it's just this huge cavernous room. It's not cozy. It's not cozy comfy. Um, the floral motif along the ceiling. I think we've pushed the bounds of Florida forgiveness too far. Um, this is this is really getting into grandma, grandma territory. This is now distinctly grandma's house. Uh, yeah. All right. There's another angle on that. The the built-in bookshelves are nice. You know, I kind of appreciate that they just left them empty. They were like we're staging this for sale. We don't need to invent bullshit knickknacks to put on the shelves. Their shelves, you know what goes on them? Books. Uh, all right, we got a little balcony patio kind of thing with an awning. All right, here's our first bathroom. And we've got, this is, this green tile. I feel like this is really distinctively of a certain era, and I feel like that era might have had, a, like, this is a little radioactive, you know? I don't, that's, it's, I don't have any actual facts to back that up, but I feel like that's radioactive stone. But we got this nice long bathtub. You know, people, people go nuts over the wide bathtubs, but you, the long bathtub is where it's at. I just, I want my knees and my boobs to be underwater simultaneously. That's, that's all I ask. Okay. We've got lots of storage here. Just this one itty bitty little sink. That seems like, it almost seems too small for this bathroom where like maybe there should be a second sink here. Um, it's a lot of counter for this little sink is, is what I'm saying. Uh, oh, we've got Oh, that, that bathtub was not nearly as long as I thought it was. That was just the angle of the camera work. These Some of these camera angles are, I mean, you see, you saw how big or how long that looked. They, they really kind of do a fisheye effect. Um, but that's basically a square bath. I, I would prefer the long one. Uh, and then the shower where things, oh, you got two shower heads. You can either have a normal shower or you can have the rain effect. Um, I've never tried a rain shower. I, I, if you've tried it and you think it's nice, let me know. Uh, you got a nice sitting area here. It's a little open. It's a little open, but I guess you, you know, you're in Florida. You don't really have to worry about it getting cold in the bathroom. Here's, we got another, this is a very aggressive stonework. I think we saw this in another house in a bathroom and it's, it's ominous to me. It kind of looks like meat. Like a really dark meat. Um, all right, we got a balcony. More balcony. Oh, again, you know, they, they didn't try to Photoshop clothes in here or anything like that. But this is a very elaborate walk-in closet. They went to closets more. They used that coupon that you get in the mail for the closet organization service. Someone came in here and and did all that it's oh god can you just people have so much money if if you need this much space for all of your clothes and you're not like a professional performer of some kind um you should have less money in my opinion you should just there's you have too much money and and some of it should be taken from you um this is you know what after those other bathrooms I'm okay with this. 
this is this is normal it's you know pale but you got the green um that's kind of a cool all right i'm okay with that that one gets a pass oh that's a nice workout room that's a nice work you got the two pull down cables leg press we got a rowing machine do we we do we've got a squat rack look at that a plus that is an a plus workout home gym we've got this is again the very florida grandma this this has pushed into grandma territory partly because this rug is just next level atrocious it's so big someone looked at this and they were like that like that color and that pattern needs to be enormous and they made it happen that's so it's huge and it's so fucking ugly uh, and then these the chairs aren't necessarily great maybe it's just this little blanket maybe that blanket detail but yeah we we've got this sea foam is that sea foam i don't know and and the coral it's it's all just aggressively floridian um and and grandma floridian okay that's a mirrored dresser that is so tacky i kind of it's so tacky i kind of like it i gotta admit i kind of like it um let's keep going all right here's a little bit of a, a lot of spectators a lot of spectators for this person sleeping um we got a little writing desk that's kind of cute don't know why you need the landline in the bedroom um i'm upset first of all that there's a landline anywhere and and second of all that it's needed in the bedroom we've got a wall divider that does not divide the room but if i were sleeping in this room i would set it up between me and all of these creepy chairs that are staring at me um this is like this is an awkward little room like is this a meeting room what do you use this room for obviously it's a sitting room but it's so small and closed off you like shut yourself in here to have like this is the room where you tell the kids you're getting a divorce that's that's what this room is for you're like we need to go have a sit down and with with a closed door and, and you tell people bad news oh maybe this is the therapy room maybe this is the in-home therapy room this is you know the doctor sits here and you lay down here and tell them about your mother uh and so your your therapist can make house calls and you can you can talk to them about how your parents gave you an overly large bedroom when you were a child and now you're deranged why is this why is it symmetrical why is it like that doesn't look nice it just looks ominous it's it's like the two guards one of these vases lies and the other tells the truth why are there two i don't understand why 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 is it symmetrical it doesn't need to be it doesn't it, you know what you could have just taken those chairs out of here and said this is an empty room and it would have been better for it all right now we're going to this other house this other house has uh it's it's still kind of looking spanish mission style but maybe in a different way um yeah like it's got that that courtyard thing that i think is kind of spanish missiony and this little detail here but you do have this little little step detail that i i associate with the southwest so it's yeah it's just kind of a different style of the same cultural heritage i guess you got lions outside um got this motor courtway or something I, I forget what that's called um here's the front of it yeah you got a nice little detail in here those are the so those are the chimneys i like that's a cool style let's get inside someday any day soon nope we're out at the dock we're looking at it from outside all right now we're inside oh those are some nice banana plants. Those are some really nice plants. We do have, oh, this is where, do you remember the other house was missing the foyer table with shit on top? They've got an unnecessary foyer table with shit on top and this, and there's not even a chandelier. There's like a shitty ceiling mount light over it. They should have put this table in the other house. 
is what they should have done. This is a gigantic room. This room is too big. Open, like, open concept has a lot of issues, but this is beyond open concept. This is an atrium. What There's, you could be heavy, and it's all tile and open and, you know, flat walls. You could be having a conversation on, like, this end of the room, and someone over here is, like, annoyed and can't concentrate because you're talking. And they also, they've got these identical, like, breast-looking ceiling mount lights in each section. Got this kind of awkward sitting area. None of this feels natural. None of this feels like a natural use of space. It's, it's kind of hotel lobby-ish. Why is there a flag like you would have in a school or a courtroom? Um, maybe a judge lives here. Who knows? Very beige room. The subtle greens in the carpet, I guess, balances it, maybe. Um, very ornate bed. Is that a dolphin on top? That seems aggressively Floridian. Uh, you know what? They could have used this as the foyer table. That other house could have used this one. This house is chock full of them, and it doesn't need any, really. Um... See, this is a room that, like, it's almost big enough to need a mini sitting area here. Like, they've got the one chair. They maybe needed a couch here. But also the couch would be stupid because then you're just, your space is too big. So you do, it's, the room's too big. And also, I love that they've got this TV on the wall here. Ten million miles away from the bed. You're like sitting here squinting across the room to try to make out what's on TV. That's that's fantastic. All right. Um this bathroom is this a bathroom? I don't see a toilet, but we've got Okay, so there's a lot of rich people bathrooms where you've got like your fancy bathtub and then they've got like a seating area next to it, which I assume is so that the help can uncomfortably sit there. Uh, and try not to look at your ugly nude body. Uh, and they hold a towel and they're ready for when you get up and they're going to dry you off. Um, this looks a little too comfy for the help to sit on. Also, I don't know that I would want to bathe in a room with this many. Like, this room is all windows. What is that? Got his and hers. Bath like, they couldn't even find a, a reasonable place to hang the mirrors because they've got windows everywhere. This is a weird room. It's a, it's a weird room to turn into a bathroom. I feel like it wasn't originally supposed to be a bathroom. Oh, you've got a huge football team sized shower. They're not going to show you that whole thing. Huge shower over here. All the windows in the world. All right, we've got another room here. Again, what is this room really for? Is this supposed to be an office, maybe? Is it... I don't know what this room is for. All right, we've got another bedroom. This bedroom has its own fireplace. Oh, we've got a TV over the fireplace. There it is, everybody. TV over the fireplace. Uh, rich people sin number one. Or rich people house sin. They've got a lot of other sins that come before that. Um, we just got one chair in the corner. That's, that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, the roll-up window blinds is interesting in a house this expensive, because I can tell you, uh, objectively speaking, they suck at all of them. They're, they, it's a bad technology. They've never made good ones. Um, so it's interesting that they've got them in here. Okay. Another pretty bare open room this got this one has tile floor what is, what was the yeah this one also has tile floor is this another oh this is another view on that same room okay this is the same room um because it's got this weird octagonal rug here um very white walls but i feel like this isn't supposed to be what it looks like decorated this oh here's the kitchen the stove oven on an island. Where is the refrigerator? Is it hiding? I don't see anything that could be the refrigerator. 
They've left their toaster out in the oven, which is, that's very bold. People know that you eat when they see the toaster. Um, let's, uh, let's keep looking. Oh, they've, they've hidden the refrigerator. Oh, this is weird. Is that, where are, because this, this doesn't have a stove in it, so that must be the kitchen down there, maybe? And then this is the fridge here. Is this a second kitchen? I'm very confused by this. Yeah, that's, that's a view, a second view on the first one. I'm, I'm very confused by this space. I don't really know what's going on or why you would want the refrigerator so far away from the stove. That seems deeply inconvenient. Uh, we've got another one of these rooms with three walls full of windows and you've stuck your head next to the window because there's literally nowhere else for you to put it. This this uh, affirms my suspicion that that other room was not meant to be a bathroom. The fact that this one is a bedroom. Uh, this, you know, seems to be the grandkids' room. It's a little formal for the grandkids, but whatever. Uh, here's an office with a table that is not meant to hold any electronics whatsoever because where would you plug them in i i like the globe it 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 really tells me i believe that i am a, a 18th century merchant and that i i still need to go gaze upon my globe to figure out where i'm colonizing next that's the the globe vibe here uh and that that his only job is to sit here and sign checks he doesn't need a computer. He doesn't believe in the computer. He's going to, you know, if he needs, he doesn't need Google Maps, he's going to look on his globe. <laughs> uh, all right, we're, I think this is maybe the hallway attached to that giant atrium room, or no, maybe not. Maybe this is a different room. I'm having a hard time picturing the layout of this. There's just too many, how, there's too many rooms with windows on like every wall. I'm having a hard time conceptualizing the floor plan. Um, yeah, I guess, well, these, these bump out. So that's two of those rooms, but I don't think either of them were that bathroom. Um, okay. All right. We're back. We're back outside. We're looking, looking at it from above and afar. Oh, here's, I'm going to look at the floor plan. Try to Try to soothe my mind. All right, so this this had to be the the bath the bathroom maybe yeah because that looks like the shower so I think that was the giant bathroom and they just this is so this is the courtyard that's that unsettling giant atrium room and that goes to outside. That hallway just leads you right down the hall to the world's largest bathroom. That's not supposed to be a bathroom. I promise you. They they converted it. Um, here's the kitchen. Oh, that other room in the kitchen, they're calling a pantry. There were appliances in that pantry. Functional appliances in that pantry. Uh, okay. This is a weird layout. I've... I've answered some questions and I've, I've raised some new ones. This is just the bedrooms upstairs. Okay. This, uh, oh, I, I guess, you know, you know what? It makes sense to me because why there's so many rooms with windows on three sides, because this is like an H shape here. So that makes sense. Oh, that was the sitting room. Oh, I think that one was empty. Lots, lots of floor plans. We love floor plans. All right. And that is the Florida compound of two houses. Two houses, uh, one compound, zero taste. And some really baffling, uh, some, uh, some aggressive Floridianness, some baffling room choices and uh you know what we we did lower our expectations here because we know these people are strange and and they were
they were a little strange. All right. Well, if you are from Florida and you feel deeply offended and or enraged and or seen and attacked, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, if your grandma had a house that just looked just like one of those rooms, uh, otherwise, you know, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And other than that, have a good one.